My name is Bill Marler. I'm a food safety attorney based in Bainbridge Island, Washington, and the publisher of Food Safety News. The numbers are 449 as of July 2nd. I expect that number to increase. Uh, 125 people were hospitalized, which is a little bit unusually high uh, for a salmonella outbreak in comparison to the illnesses. And, there, and that, again, has happened in 31 states. Interesting thing about this outbreak is there appears to be two um, uh, serotypes. Uh, one, Salmonella africans, which is an unusual uh, Salmonella that has not been seen very often in the United States. And the other Salmonella is Salmonella brandirup, which has been more common. Um, the common denominator here is that all 449 people share the same whole genome sequence of either Salmonella africana or Salmonella bandrup. And then the trace back that went from the locations where those people purchased product or consumed uh, product, that all traced back uh, to Florida. And then when they got on the ground in Florida, they uh, found the same genetic fingerprint of the Salmonella bandrup in water uh, that uh, apparently was used for irrigation uh, on that facility. And so, you know, it all kind of tied up well. Um, but my strong suspicion is that there's likely, this is a multi-serotype outbreak, um, which is sort of unusual because usually what happens in an outbreak is they uh, see one serotype, they see one group of illnesses, and that's the outbreak. But having multiple serotypes is not unusual. Um, you see it every once in a while. It's not, like I said, it's not the usual thing, but probably in 10 or 15% of outbreaks, there may be multiple strains of a bacteria. And if you think about it, that probably makes some sense. Cucumbers, you know, are growing on the ground. And, and uh, you know, so you have to, you know, producers need to pay attention to animal intrusion in the fields as one, and also that the water that they're using to irrigate um, is tested, uh, if not uh, tested, at least potable, for, you know, what, that's drinkable. Um, you know, when you're using water that's uh, potentially contaminated or contaminated, it's not surprising that you have an outbreak. Uh, you know, consumers should, you know, obviously wash their produce uh, at home. Restaurants who are serving cucumbers should, uh, again, wash those cucumbers, uh, you know, uh, skinning them, scaling them, you know, using them that way is obviously a, another way, not a perfect way of limiting the risk. And then using the product really, you know, soon after cutting um, so it doesn't allow uh, the salmonella to sort of grow to a level that, you know, may well be, uh, you know, deadly to people.